I guess. Sure, man, it wasn't long that you were like a young buck. You know, everyone was like, oh, who's the still and win kid? You and Scott, and here you are. You feel like one, like an old guy out here? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. It's, yeah. it's cool. Um, really, you don't feel any different, though. It's, I feel more experienced, bigger, faster, stronger, and uh, just doing my job. And it's great because I can help out the younger guys, too. I was just going to say, when you look back to the, your first camp compared to now, do you feel like, man, think back to the days where you may be a little wide-eyed and now you're kind of trying to guide those same kids? Oh, yeah, you can understand where the freshmen are coming from, especially having the senior perspective on it. Um, I remember my freshman year just barely being able to uh, focus on my job and trying to balance our new playbook with the mixture of a whole defense that's completely different than what we're used to. So it's, it's surprising. A lot of these guys are catching on really quick, and we're doing a pretty good job. I'm liking how many uh, D linemen are adapt at what we need. Now, it seems like it's one of those years where people are, again, uh, not expecting a lot out of the Beavers, but when you look in the past, that's where you guys seem to do well. I don't think there's been a season where anybody's expected us to do good. Um, not since I've been here, definitely. So uh, preseason polls, I mean, it's great for the media and it's fun for the readers, but you really can't tell what's going on until you deep into camp and summer workouts. And I mean, that's what makes the game exciting for people, I guess, is they don't know what to expect. What do you, your early assessment of this group, what you guys have here, do you feel like it's a lot better than everybody's oh, thinking it's going to be? Yeah, it's, it's going to be surprising for some people. Not for us, though. We're, we're very excited with what we have, the depth that we have, and the skill that we have. And I mean, we have high expectations. What do you think will be the most surprising? Cause, you know, everybody knows Sean Mannion is a good, a good quarterback, but defense got some holes, no Brandon Cooks. What is going to be the most surprising aspect of this football? Well, they're just going to have to see when the season comes up now, huh? <laughs> yeah, gonna have to watch us, I guess. Yeah. Um, for for you, I, I remember we talked in the spring. The nutritionist uh, that was something that those little changes were having a big impact on this team. Just for you, now you look at all these guys. Everybody looks bigger, stronger. That's what the off season's for. Mm -hmm. But how much more evolved do you feel like this program has become since last season? I, I wouldn't call it a little change at all. Uh, there's been huge steps, uh, not just nutritionally, but uh, how we go about our workouts. Uh, the the amount that we do compared we we very we broke it down into a science and I mean that's what a lot of schools do and it's nothing new when you get up to our level but you can see it's it's done leaps and bounds for the people that uh, have really taken it to heart. Um, I, I know you and Storm are a couple of leaders. How's he doing without Brandon? He's doing good. He's doing good. He's very, if anything, Cooks gives us both a lot of motivation. I mean, you see the success that he had, and I don't think there's a, I don't know a harder worker. I mean, we, we have a lot of people on our team that work their tails off, but Cooks, Cooks was definitely a student of the game and uh, spent no distractions and spent everything he had on the sport, and obviously it paid off and where he is right now and killing it in camp, but he's, he's definitely motivation. He's not just motivation for Storm and I. It's, Motivation for the whole team. Uh, a couple more for you, Dylan. Uh, for you, you're a guy, describe non-stop motor, not as a high motor. You're always going and you're always hungry. So for you to go through the off season, finally be back out here, what, what was that like when you ran out through, through the gates here at, uh, at Pro Row again? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. Just it's another day in the life of paradise, you know. I mean, can't Corral's complain. Paradise? Oh yeah, football fields paradise. I I wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, especially Corvallis. I mean. A lot of people complain in this stuff about like weather or it's a small town and I honestly wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Thanks man. Talk to you again man. No problem.